In this video, we dive into JSON Web Token JWT, authentication in Node.js to ensure secure access to your API. We'll cover the essentials of setting up JWT and how to validate it on protected routes. Hi, my name is Alex. I'm a senior software engineer with years of experience in API development. My goal is to help you become a more skilled and proficient developer. Let's get started. I am in Node.js Express project where we set up routes for tasks and projects. Let's go ahead and protect them with JSON Web Token. As usual, the link to the GitHub repo with the code is in the description below. We are going to start with installing JSON Web Token library. We will also install the types for this library as dev dependencies. In order to create and validate JSON Web Token, we will need a secret. Let's open that env file and add a secret. For security purposes, the secret should be at least 32 characters long. Let's also add the secret to the config.ts file. Now we're going to simulate authentication server that will issue us a JSON web token. Let's create a file issue test token.ts in src directory. If you are wondering how to create an actual authentication server in real life, well, the answer is don't. Don't try to do this because there are other options available that are secure and have a lot of features. Those options include Auth0, Cognito, Firebase, just to name a few. As a matter of fact, in the next video, we'll look at how to integrate Auth0 service with our API. Please check it out. In issuetesttoken.cs, we're going to put the following code. We are going to import JWT from JSON Web Token library and config from config.cs. We are going to define payload with a sub property to which we assign an empty string for now. Next, we'll generate a JSON Web Token with JWT sign. Uh, we will use the payload we just created and a secret key from the config. In options, we'll put expires in one hour and the issuer will be task manager app. Then we will console log the token. Now let's go to seed.ts file in Prisma folder. Let's copy one of the user IDs we used for seeding the database with the tasks and projects. Go back to issue test token.ts file and put the ID in the sub property. Now let's generate the token. We will use ts node to run issue test token.ts file and .env to inject environment variables. In particular, we need app secret. The token has been generated and we can copy it. Let's go ahead and take a look uh, what this JSON Web Token contains. But before we do that, if you are learning something new from this video, please like and subscribe to our channel to help YouTube recommend it to more viewers. We are going to head to the site jwt.io and paste the token. As you can see, the token has header with the algorithm and type. It also has a payload, and this payload has a sub property that we defined, which stands for subject. It also has IAT, issue that, and EXP, expiration properties, that tell us the token is valid for one hour. The ISS, or issuer, is our task manager. JWT and its structure is out of scope for this video, but if you want to learn more, please check out the link in the description. Let's head back to VS Code and create a middleware that will authenticate our user. We're going to create authenticateuser.ts file in the middleware folder. In this file, we're going to put the following code. We're going to import request, response, and next function from Express and also JWT and JWT payload type from JSON Web Token. Additionally, we're going to import authentication error and config. The authentication error doesn't exist yet, we will create it later. First, we're going to define authenticate user function, and this function is a middleware, so it will take request, response, and next. Then we will assign authorization header from the request uh, to the auth header variable. If there is nothing in auth header or it doesn't start with a word bearer, we will throw an authentication error with the message authorization header missing or malformed status code 401 and code er auth. If the condition passes, we're going to assign the part that goes after the word bearer to the token variable. Uh, then we will do a try-catch block. 
In the try part, we will attempt to decode and verify the token with JWT verify method, passing in the token and the app secret. If the verification is successful, we will assign an object with a payload and token properties to reg.auth. The auth property will need to be typed on the express request. We will take care of it in a little bit. If everything goes well, we will call next function, but if we catch an error, we are going to throw a new authentication error. This error is going to have a message. You are not authorized to perform this operation. Status code 403 and error auth code. Now let's go ahead and define authentication error class in SRC errors holder. The code in this class will be simple since we can extend from the custom error class. We will also update error code type by adding error auth. Finally, we need to make the TypeScript happy and also add auth property to the express request. We will create express.d.ts type declaration file in src folder. In this file, we will extend a request interface of the express framework. We're going to import express and JWT payload from JSON web token. We use declare global syntax to add custom types globally within an express application. Declare Global declares a global augmentation allowing modifications to the existing types in the global scope. Namespace Express targets the Express namespace specifically, which contains types related to the Express framework. Interface Request extends the request interface, adding a new optional auth property. The auth property contains payload of type uh, JWT payload and token of type string for the row JWT. By adding this auth property, this code allows us to access rec auth payload and rec auth token directly in express request handlers with the TypeScript support. Next, we are going to apply the authenticate user middleware to the routes. So let's go into routes tasks index.cs file. We will import authenticate user from authenticate user middleware and use it as the middleware for the tasks routes. Let's go to routes projects index.cs file and do the same thing for projects routes. Finally, we need to ensure that the authenticated user can only get his or her tasks and projects. So let's go into the tasks controller. In the list tasks function, we will add options to Prisma task find menu. The options object contains where property with a user ID assigned from rec auth payload sub. In the get task function, we'll add the same user ID property to the where property in the options of Prisma task find unique. Now let's go to the projects controller and do the same updates. We will add options with where property with a user ID to Prisma project find menu and update where property with a user ID in the options of Prisma project find unique and Prisma task find menu. We're all set. Let's go to API test.http file and test our work. Let's hit the route tasks. We got an error that authorization header is missing or malformed. Well, we obviously don't have any authorization header on the request. Let's go ahead and add it and use the token we created earlier. Let's go ahead and make a call again. Now you can see that we got the tasks and those tasks are the only tasks that belong to the authenticated user. Let's go ahead and add authorization header to get task by ID route. And if we send the request, we can see that the task is not found because the task ID in the request parameter doesn't belong to the user. Let's update the ID with the one of the tasks that belong to the user. Now we got the response back containing one task. So the code is working. That's a wrap on JWT token authentication in Node.js. Now you know how to secure API endpoints, validate user access, and protect sensitive data with a JWT. As I mentioned earlier, it is not a good idea to create your own authentication server from scratch. A much better approach will be to use an already available solution out there, such as Auth0. If you want to learn how to secure your API using Auth0 tokens, please check out this video.